This is a very quick video overview of RME's Fireface UFX with the new firmware which uh, enables it to record directly to a USB memory stick. I'm just going to show you how those functions work. On the front of the UFX interface you've got it, this USB port here. Uh, you can record onto any uh, USB drive pretty much. Uh, we're going to do it onto a memory stick straight away. Only thing uh, you need to know is it needs to be formatted to FAT32. So let's have a look and see what's new inside the Fireface software. Now if I look at each channel, I'm going to look at mic input 1, which is channel 9. If we scroll down the options available for that, you can see we've now got a record option, which I can enable by turning this. So in that, that one's now set to record. Let's go to the next channel, channel 10, enable that one to record. 11 and 12. So that's now set to record from the four mic preamps on the front of the unit. And I'm going to use just four mics on a drum kit for a very simple demonstration of this. Now if I hit this meters button, this now brings up the record page. Um, it shows that we've got um, that the drive is connected. If your drive isn't connected or if it's the wrong format, it'll say you've got no media detected. I'll plug it drive back in. Here we go, initializing. And we're ready to go. There we are. Lovely. So Recording is very simple, we've already armed the tracks. Use this button to go down to the transport control, scroll across using that one into record. It says we've got four channels ready to go, we've got 37 uh, minutes available time. Hit the record and off it goes, it's running. And when you're done you just scroll across the stop button and that's it, done. So now it's just a case of transferring the files to the computer. Just plug our USB stick in, mount on the desktop, there we go. Now there's only one file in here which is because the RME records in a, in a multi-channel interleaved file format, but that's not a problem because most, uh, most programs would be able to handle that. Get rid of this, don't need the drive any longer. Plug my Pro Tools dongle in, launch Pro Tools. Now I've got a session that I've already created which I'm going to use for this, which I've just called Drums, which has got, uh, got a bunch of empty tracks in it. Now what I need to do is file import audio to the desktop, there we are. And you see here it's identified we've got four channels recorded at 24 bit, 44.1. I'll need to convert them. Now it's going to import them into my audio files folder. Let's just stick them in the region list. Over here, that's my file. Now Pro Tools has identified this as a left, center, right and surround channel because that's what it assumes if you're importing an interleave file with four channels on it. But of course it isn't. It doesn't matter, it'll show us all four regions. You can just drag those straight into the arrange. Here we go, and there's our drum parts. See, simple. The nice thing about it being uh, an interleave file format is that of course all the files stay um, perfectly um, sample and phase accurate with each other. It's also much easier for the UFX to write a large file than it is to write multiple smaller files. So this helps you get a large amount of bandwidth out of it. Obviously I've only done a very small session of just four tracks. You can record from all 30 of the uh, available inputs on the Fireface UFX, the 12 analogs, uh, 16 over ADAT and AES-EBU as well. Um, in all in all, it's a brilliant way of either having a backup recording in the event of a computer crash, anything that's non-repeatable, perhaps using for a live gig or anything like that. So, yeah, brilliant. Well done, RME.